Coming into camp, does it feel like it's your job to lose at left guard or your job to win? I feel like I'm just competing as hard as I possibly can and doing whatever my coach asks me. Are you in a, in a really good place this year, um, knowing where they want to put you right away, put you at left guard, that you can kind of focus on that spot and grow at that spot and be ready to play that spot? Yeah, I mean, I'm working as hard as I can and doing everything I can, at, you know what I'm saying, every spot and whatever my coaches asking me to do wherever they want to put me at. I'm performing the best of my ability here. Does it feel easier playing on the left side? I mean, you played left tackle in college. Does it feel like... There's definitely a familiarity when you're on the left side of the line. What's the biggest difference for you? Probably just five, just five years of reps pressing off of my right foot more than my left foot, I would say. In talking with Alex and Ted and Lel, what have they have, what have they told you about the league, their experiences, and what you guys can do to be better as a group? Yeah, Alex and Ted and Lel, they got all guys have been through a lot of adversity and had a lot of challenges throughout their career, and they've all overcame those things, and they've all done great things, Super Bowls, you know what I'm saying? Right. Top of the apologize. You're good. Top of the league. You know what I'm saying, Lel? Just being able to learn from those guys, just. Even the things that they don't necessarily tell you, just like how they walk around and being able to learn the little things, like you know, so how they take care of their bodies, how they study, how they do all those things are really good to be able to learn. What do they tell you, Jackson, about handling adversity? What, what, what are some of the biggest keys to handling adversity in the NFL? Just pushing through, just having a really good just like sense of self and self-awareness and also being able to rely and lean on your brother and stuff like that. What's the biggest difference in rookie Jackson Carmen versus Jackson Carmen now going into the second year? Your experience. What did you learn in that year? I learned a lot, a tremendous amount. It's anything from, you know what I'm saying, just off the field stuff and how to be a professional towards being on the field, learning techniques and just learning more socially, interacting with my teammates and my coaches. I learned a lot. How did, you, how did you change your uh, workout regimen? Frank was talking early on. He said, this is good. What did you change your, how did you change your workout? I think compared to my first kind of off season when you coming off the surgery and stuff like that, I had a, this year, a real off season to be able to go down and train with Coach Duke Manyweather in Dallas, and be able to uh, work with him, and be able to do a lot of O-line specific stuff and really help build my body. <laughs> rehab the different things I've been working on. How long were you down there? About a month. Yeah. Is this where you want to be, to wait? Is this where you want to be? Later? Yeah, I remember my coaches want me at right now. Which is what? 325, a little, a little lower. Probably like 323. That's what I want you, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you feel more athletic? Can you feel it? Yeah. How did you describe him back situation you heading up to the Super Bowl last year? What was that week like? And oh, overall for you, how are you feeling heading into that game? I was just, you know what I'm saying, doing everything I could to be prepared for the moment. And you know what I'm saying, make sure I was strengthening and all those things and being ready, you know what I'm saying, for the moment. How do you feel like the game against the Chiefs went? I think they went good. You know, for, for you personally? I mean, for me personally, it doesn't really matter that much. Like, I'm part of the team, the team sport has been that way since I started playing. So, whatever we can do as a team is all I'm about. Do you feel you're a mo more mature, ready to play NFL player this year than you were last year? Definitely. How so? I think that year of experience really helped me. Did, did you think the I, this might be weird, Did you think the NFL was going to be easier than it turned out to be, or just you just? I didn't really have any like set expectations. Yeah. I obviously expected it to be difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Was it harder than you even thought, though? It's top of the world competition, so whatever you're competing in, the top of the world is going to be difficult. I think you're more natural on the left side, Jackson. You feel more comfortable on the left. I definitely feel a lot more familiar just being over there over the course of my career in college and high school and things like that. As far as getting in shape, was it yeah. gym stuff? Was it also a diet? Did you have to do? It was a combination of everything. Diet, nutrition, exercise, mobility, all those things. What was the hardest thing to change in your diet? Um, the diet hasn't been really that hard at all. I really enjoy food and like kind of foodie, so it's been kind of a good process for me. You cook. You're a. You're a. I mean, you're a chef, right? I mean, you like to cook, right? Yeah. Have you picked up any new dishes at all in, uh, <laughs> in this kind of watching your weight? Have you picked up any new dishes? One thing I've really been enjoying making is like a cauliflower pizza, low yeah. carbs, still tastes the same. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. Well, you put anything else on it? Like spinach, plant-based sausage, low-fat mozzarella, different stuff like that.
Sounds horrible, but I guess. Uh, <laughs> but I guess. Uh, but I guess it's good for. I guess it's good for. Us. Yeah, definitely. Is cool. that plant based or are you eating like vegetarian? No, I just thought it went with the meal. Yeah. Going back to the question about the back, you consider yourself 100 percent right now. I definitely do everything just coming in. I feel like I wouldn't say say like 100, percent but I'm definitely light years than where I was at the end of the season. Being and even going train stuff like that. I'm sorry, uh, even going back to Clemson. I mean, how long has it been since you've had a spring camp like this where you felt this good? It's been a while. Like it's, it's a lot because like in Clemson we had the COVID year where camp was kind of like messed up right before the draft. So it's been quite some time. Do you feel like there's added pressure on you since you're playing in your hometown? I wouldn't say it's added pressure. Maybe like from another perspective outside my own, but to me, like it's gonna be the same wherever I'm going. I gotta perform. So if anything, it's like a little help. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I got people behind me in my city, and I get to go out there and perform. How much are you looking forward to going out there and winning the left guard job? So going back to what you said about the being in your hometown, what are the ticket requests, the pressures? I mean, just how, do, how do you handle that? Um, just really being able to rely on your support system, be able to rely on teammates, and also just making sure you're taking care of the main thing, which is work. Mm -hmm. You were a big, I, I think Xavier was a big, kind of a big influence on him. You spent a lot of time Definitely. talking to him, picking his brain. Is there anybody now who's kind of. Uh, you kind of got a new look offensive line. Anybody that you feel like you can turn to? I mean, I I got great relationships with all the guys, top to bottom, and I learned different things from all of them. Xavier was a little different, unique because we were in the same like kind of spot and stuff like that. But I feel like the things I learned from X last year definitely stuck with me. I'm able to use that for this year. Like what? Anything in particular? Whether it's from technique stuff or just like off the field stuff or just like management things like that. What? What, I'm sorry. Uh, what do you think you have to do to be the opening day left guy? What do you have to do in the next couple of months? Take care of business. And then, you Take care of business. Yeah. Yeah, I guess in everything. Huh? Yeah. You relish that? You like the idea of kind yes. of competition before the competition? Yeah, what, I mean, what do you like about it? Just the vibe. I've always liked competition since I was a little kid. Just going against people and putting me the best, being better, learning, growing. You know what I'm saying? Go out and prove it. Go out and prove it? Correct.